What's up everyone? It is day five. I've made it to day five of the 77 day video challenge. Some of you are like, what are you doing, Christine? What is this 77 day video challenge thing you're doing? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked. I have uh, been inspired to get back to the dream I have of being an author as well as a speaker. So I am committing to uh, writing 20 minutes every single day towards my book. And then I, uh, or I've been inspired by a friend of mine, Darren LaCroix, to join in to the challenge of uh, being on Facebook Live, not regular video, but live, where when you make a mistake, you make a mistake. And so I'm doing this um, to hold myself accountable to, um, just to get better at being on video, better at speaking, because experience is your greatest teacher. And so that is what I'm doing. So let's get into it today. I've got a good one for you. Does any, do any of you ever feel like you're stuck in a vicious cycle? Do you ever feel stuck in an endless circle of patterns and habits that have led you where you are today? I find myself doing things simply because that's what I did yesterday and the day before that and the day before that. And many of us, including myself, find ourselves not even being aware, just not even aware. And I call that something else. I'll write that down. I don't know why I'm using my whiteboard today. I just feel like it. When I write things down, it helps me remember more. But when I am not even aware, I call that drifting. This is a terrible place to be. Drifting through life, going through the motions, and just, just, yeah, being stuck. I have a lot of people that I work with who are in that place right now. And I can totally relate because I have been there myself. Um, if you, those of you who don't know my story, I struggled with addiction for 15 years. So I was in that vicious cycle for 15 years. So, maybe some of you have some habits, like maybe you're, you like to have a drink when you get home from work, after dinner, every night. Maybe you are like me a lot of the times, and you get your phone out, and you're just scroll, 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 and before you know it, a few hours have gone by, and you're like, I got nothing done. Maybe you like to veg and watch Netflix, not saying anything's wrong with that, but you know, where you have things to do and instead of getting things you want done, you know, watch it on Netflix. Or maybe you're like me and you say you're only going to have a few of these and then before you know it, the whole bag is gone. I'm just admitting that's my, that's my issue. I love sweets. I love gummies and I have a problem and I'm admitting it here live on Facebook Live. <laughs> um, so I listed out a lot of those different um, habits because, you know, I struggle with them or have struggled with them in the past and um, just want you to know you're not alone in that. But here's the cool thing. Here's, here, I don't want this to be depressing. I want this to be uplifting. But here's the cool thing. The cool thing about the human need for consistency and the need for certainty is that we can actually take those bad habits and, and, and that cycle and we can reverse it and we can have it work in the opposite direction and make it work for our good. So first thing is to identify those areas that are keeping you stuck, you know, um, or excuse me, identify as well the areas that you want to improve. 
Okay, so it could be maybe you want to lose some weight. Maybe you um, go to the gym, but not consistently. Or maybe you want to, instead of eating things like this, you choose rather a healthy smoothie. This is full of all kinds of fruits and vegetables. And so I'm choosing to drink that instead. Um, <laughs> maybe you want to stop drinking or you want to drink less. Maybe, um, you know, uh, you're smoking and maybe you want to stop smoking or smoke less. Maybe you want to start that business that you've been talking about for years. Maybe you're like me and you want to write a book. Um, maybe you want to be more present with your kids. Maybe you want to find friends with similar interests that you know can help you stay accountable and and have others encourage you and just people that you relate to so the first thing is to identify those areas that you want to improve on and then after that you make a decision that's the first step making a decision making a conscious decision to do so. And so I have this really pretty lamp I'm gonna use in my video today. Um, I like to use this, uh, you know, if it's dark outside and I just want like a little dim light rather than my overhead light and of course my, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, light, the circle light. Um, so, or the ring light, the, um, so the first thing that you do is you make a decision and making a decision is as easy as turning on a light switch. So I'm just going to turn this light switch on and there you go. It's that easy. That is how easy a decision really is. Some people think that, oh, you got to have this big grand plan put all together and you know, all of my ducks need to be lined up in a row before I can make this decision. No, 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 no. You make a decision like enough is enough. And I'm going to do this thing. Just like when I finally got into recovery after a 15 year long battle with addiction. You guys, I never thought I could get one day in recovery. Not one day. And here I am seven years later. It started with a decision, a serious, serious decision. And people, and people make it so complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's just like this, turning on the light switch. So my friends, you get to decide. You, you are the one who makes the call. And as my friend Darren LaCroix says, you are the CEO of your dream. You are the CEO of your dream. So of course we can't just make a decision one day and then expect, you know, for things to go smoothly uphill, right? It's making a decision every single day every single day and being consistent with that decision and doing the work. So what I do with all my clients is that we, you know, figure out what the big picture goal is. We reverse engineer and we figure out, okay, well, what are the next steps that you need to take in order to get to the desired goal? So, um, you have to decide daily and my friends, when you turn the light switch on, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. And I know it's hard to change those daily habits that you're so used to, but I promise you can do it by making a, de a decision every single day and committing to it. So before I go, I wanna ask you this question. What can you do with where you are right now? What can you do with where you are right now. I was talking to a client earlier today and we were going over some goals and we set these three very manageable goals, nothing overwhelming. And I said, okay, can you commit to doing these today? She said, well, I think so, but if not, definitely by tomorrow. 
and so I, I challenged her and I said, well, after we get off this call, what, you know, what are your plans? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm probably just going to hang out, take it easy and maybe, you know, eat later or something like that. And so I said, well, why not today? So that's my question to you. I think it's pretty, pretty cool that, that we can just decide to absolutely change our lives. So why not today? Why not today? Are you tired of drifting through life? Are you tired of the vicious cycle? Wondering why you're getting the same results over and over and over? I get it. I've been there. And I'm still going through it. I'm still going through it. I'm only on day five of this 77 day video challenge, y'all. This is not easy. This is not easy. And so I just want to challenge you and ask you again, why not today? And please reach out if you have any questions. Do me a solid and a favor, please, por favor, give this video a like and a comment. Let me know what your dream, what your goal, what's your, uh, your new habit that you want to develop. What is it? I want to know. I want to know because I want to encourage you and hold you accountable as well. Because I, I need accountability, so I, I want to give it right back at you. All right, my friends, I will see you tomorrow for day six. I can't wait. And thanks again for your support. And again, start now. Make a decision every single day. Stay consistent. And you can decide. You are the CEO of your dream. You're the, you make the decision. So it's easy as turning on the light switch. Love you guys. God bless. See you tomorrow.